Hi everybody! Heather Stargazer here to do a reading for the sign of Aries for Scorpio season. For Scorpio season we're asking what needs to be illuminated and what needs to be transformed. For what needs to be illuminated we're using the Nicoletta Saccioli miniature deck here and for what needs to be transformed we're going to be using the Witch's Tarot by Ellen Dugan. I'm just lighting us some Palo Santo here. I should turn it the other way so you can see the cute little ghost. It's like clearing the space, right? What needs to be illuminated and what needs to be transformed. And then we're going to pull a um, game of storytelling from the Moth Radio Hour to give us a little prompt, right? And that's for all of Scorpio season and beyond, right? This is like the end of the... Um, eclipse cycle the super moon cycle it's really kind of like a new year in a lot of ways like new years oh, i'll just get my coffee away from there there we go all right ancestors spirit guides what messages do you have for the sign of aries for scorpio season what what needs to be illuminated it needs to be illuminated to Aries for Scorpio season. Wow, this is the world in reverse, and you get the four interesting, and you get the four of cups on the bottom. Here it is. This is a really cute little deck. See how it's a snow globe, and the whole world is inside it. It's in the reverse. It means it's becoming illuminated. That some some cycle isn't isn't coming to an end the way you thought it would be. Maybe it needs to be transformed. Here she's inside of a bubble. Here, right? She's in the snow globe for the four of cups. Are you rejecting the outside world, right? Is there something out there that's keeping you in here, right? In your internal space coming through? What is that? You know, it's almost like you're taking, you've been taking this time to relax and maybe you've relaxed so much into it that um, you've failed to go out there into into the new new into the big big right it's like you've sequestered yourself from the world at large right maybe they're not able to see you there's like this light being shown interesting and a bird flying flying ahead it's like you're so busy looking at these things that you're rejecting that you're failing to look up and see the messages that are coming through the things that want to reach you maybe it's becoming illuminated that some sort of thing isn't um, available to you or being able to come through to you because you're closed off from it so what needs to be transformed and the immediately um, things are coming out here we have the two of wands being at a crossroads right really deciding which way you're going to go with this the truth is clear the victory is clear it's really coming out here is the queen of wands in the reverse could be you could be another fire sign feminine energy doesn't necessarily have to be a woman it's that internal boastful self right that lacking in confidence um maybe maybe you're rejecting some kind of um of that that uh I really like this persuasive feeling. It feels like it's coming on, down on my face like a mask, right? There's this idea of moving through it, moving forward. The transformation needs to come. You actually need to get moving forward. And if that means that, um, that you need to look at maybe... Um, how your internal self is affecting how you're seeing things right and they're putting you in a space where you, where you're not being as productive as maybe you could maybe there's somebody on the outside of it um that's being a little too forceful right a little uh, it just feels like it feels like this lack of confidence because you've kept yourself in for too long and maybe you're show, you're afraid of showing your true face it's like get outside the the conflict is over the conflict is over I had to move the food bowl. You know, we don't want to hear eating. It feels like the, that um, there's this, the competition is over. Maybe whatever it was that um, made you a little bit afraid is being, like, there's a, there's a fear aspect here, right? With the queen of uh, wands, with the queen of confidence in the reverse, right? And this idea of, like, which way to go, um, not wanting to walk into spaces with people or com uh, who are confrontational, who are um, jealous, who are that win at all costs kind of, kind of energy, and maybe you're protecting yourself from it, and there needs, maybe there's a truth that needs to be um, shared, right? That, that trans 
transformation like what uh, how are you communicating with the outside world how are, what and again it's like that feeling of like of being trapped inside here not wanting to go out there but looking at it right and seeing what the truth of it might be and again being fearful that's what needs to be transformed mm, interesting it's going to be an interesting time to say the least, Aries, and then we get chemistry. It says, um, prepare a story about the power of combinations, complex reactions, sparks and smoke, magical solutions, dynamic rapport and explosive interactions, opposites that tract or pheromones that fizzle, lessons in the lab of life, transform, safety goggles on. It says, tell us about a time you overreacted, a time you discovered a deadly combination, a time you felt sparks. Here that up for you so that you can see it mm, a lot going on a lot to be revealed this Scorpio season I'm wishing you all the best blessed transformations mm, and peace within your soul right that's a lot to explore the chemistry of things mm, but I know that you're going to do it and you're going to do it fabulously thank you for these gifts thank you for being here thank you for remembering to hit the like and subscribe because it really does help and I really do appreciate it and thanks for coming back and seeing us again next time happy Scorpio season Aries bye <laughs>